Hello, Darth Vegan here, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 2 the Exploration Mode. This is the first iteration of the career mode in Kerbal Space Program 2. And so I'm going to be giving it a try for at least a couple of episodes. We're going to go, it's more like science mode in KSP 1. And so we're going to take a look at what all we can do with it uh, in mission control. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on over there. And you can see while we are here in mission control, control we have one mission, launch a rocket. And we can go and take the mission brief uh, about what we need to do for this rocket. Or you can just look at the objectives and see that we need to launch a rocket from Kerbin and achieve an altitude of at least 10 kilometers. And if you listen to the mission brief, it's kind of like a little bit of a narrative. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, Director. I'm Dr. Kerry Kerman, the department head of Mission Control. Mission Control is just one of the many impressive buildings we've finished. It's got that new building smell and everything. Here you can access everything you need to embark on missions to earn science. When the mission's last objective is complete, come back here to submit your mission report, and after a quick mission debrief from me, we'll turn your paperwork into sweet, sweet science. Now that we have a director, it's time to build and launch our program's inaugural vessel. For our first mission, your objective is to launch a rocket from Kerbin and achieve an altitude of 10,000 meters. It's hard to have a space program without launching a rocket. Feel free to track your mission and poke around the mission tracker. Poke gently though, all the equipment is new. When you're done, come on back and submit your report. Good luck, director. Alright, so then we're going to go ahead and track our mission here. The mission is tracked. We're going to head on over to the VAB, and we're going to take a look at uh, what science parts we have available. There is a research tree. Um, actually, let's look at the research tree just right quick. So if I go to research and development, you can see we have the starting rocket re -unlo uh, unlocked already. And we need 10 science to unlock the next step, 15, 25. You can see the little science that we need to unlock all these different things. So with our first starting rocket parts, we have the Mark 110 can command pod we have the t45 swivel uh, engine we have a t100 flt100 fuel tank and flt200 fuel tank a td12 decoupler a changeling adjustable fin and mark 16 parachutes so we have enough to make a pretty good rocket here i think we can not only get to 10,000 meters i think we can get into uh, orbit with this probably but we'll, we'll just go ahead and see what we can do with this first rocket we may not get into orbit but we might uh, i haven't played in a while so i'm a little bit rusty but i think we can handle it let's hop on back to the vehicle assembly building now i did go ahead and go into the uh kerbal manager and i renamed the kerbin kerbals to uh to match with my uh my members my youtube members so these are the people that support me every month and i appreciate their support and i have added them into the game as kerbals unfortunately i could not change the gender of the kerbals so um i apologize if some of you look uh, a little uh, more effeminate than you might be accustomed to looking let's go and take a look and see what we can build with the parts that we have let's go ahead and throw in a whoa, I can, whoa okay i can see inside interesting okay let's go ahead and throw in a command pod and you can see i've got my my orange and green beautiful color scheme here to match my my flag and we're going to go ahead and put on a decoupler on there why because we can and we're going to put a parachute on top so now this little bad boy uh will survive maybe re-entry hopefully <laughs> hope we don't heat up too much but i'm going to go ahead and pop in a new uh staging here and put the parachutes at the top so that uh, we we don't do it incorrectly i'm going to throw in one of these guys and we'll pop him on here and so what do we have for delta v here we got a thousand delta v so let's just throw on one more fuel tank there that gives us 1300 okay we'll pop on another little 
thing there and whoa let's go three of these and one of these what have we got 2645 okay all right i'll put this yeah we'll just we'll do we'll stage separately okay <clears throat> 2645 is not enough to get us into orbit i can tell you that right now but if i I don't know if do we have a part limit on these things. Don't know if we have a part limit at the beginning or not. Let's see. I don't see like a part limit. So I guess we're okay. Yeah. Okay. One way trip. Yeah. So curb in low orbit is around 3400. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Um, we're a little bit short. So. What could we do to make sure we still have enough thrust? Does this have the thrust weight ratio here? Yeah, it's 2.12. That's pretty good still. Let's throw on one more lower stage tank here. That's 2,900. Wow, that's getting really close. That's 3,351. Wow, we are just so close to having an orbital rocket here on the first get-go. I'm so tempted just to try to squeeze another... We're at 1.698. I could squeeze just a little more value out of this. Oh my god, we would be right at orbital if I did it perfectly. I'm thinking I probably need more something like 3600 since it's been so long let's take this off pop that on there okay oh that's so close we're gonna give this a try this vehicle is gonna be not fly safe this is gonna be the deviant one all right so we're ready for Deviant 1 to, uh, go ahead and save it, why not? We're ready for Deviant 1 to have a liftoff here, and let's see if we can get our first uh, science achieved. So we're going to go ahead and go into launch. Oh wait, who's going to be the guinea Kerbal? And I believe that will be me. DV is going to be the guinea Kerbal. Alright, here we go. All right, DV is here on the launch pad. He is ready to get going. DV, are you ready to board the rocket and head up into space? The first Kerbal to leave the surface of Kerbin in a rocket. Oh, that's not really the look I expected from you, but that's okay. All right, we are ready for launch. Is SAS on? Um, yes, it is. Let's increase our thrust how it's already increased okay are we ready for launch in oh they didn't do a countdown <laughs> i thought they did a countdown okay three two one no really let's go okay here we go let's go ahead and start angling out a little bit start our gravity turn I'm a lot rusty, so I'm not going to be super effective at doing a nominal gravity turn here. So we're going to do the best we can. We've still got about half of our fuel in this first stage. So that's good. So far so good. Looking pretty solid. They, they fixed the wobbly rocket thing for the most part looks like so that's great loving that okay I got a science reward fantastic already got some science for getting high altitude here all right we're at 29,000 30,000 okay about ready to jettison our first stage separation is intact Engaging the in second stage motor. There we go. Fantastic. Keep it on up. 
We're at uh, apoapsis of 60,000. 65,000. We've got to be at 70,000 to get an orbit. And mark. Woo! She's heating up. She's a heating up. All right. DV, how you doing in there? DV? You doing okay? Can't see DV in there. Yeah, I can see the back of his head there. Or the top of his head. All right. Let's take a look at the map. Fantastic. Once we get to the Apoapsis, we will burn prograde and see if we can achieve an orbit. We still got half of our Delta V left in the upper stage, so that would be pretty good. Um, we might be able to, we might be able to get an orbit. Might be able to just get an orbit. Beautiful. Okay. Very nice. Can I EVA? Well, let's let's not EVA until we get actually um, up to our apoapsis here. Even though there's very little atmosphere here, I don't want to have any mishaps. You know, <laughs> don't want to have any mishaps. Okay. I don't think I'll have enough to get the full orbit. That's okay. All right, let's go ahead and get ready to do our orbital orbital burn, though. See if we can insert ourselves. There we go. We are now in space. Now. Think. Okay. There we go. Let's just burn and see if we can get that orbit achieved. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. And blink. All right. Not quite a full orbit. Not quite a full orbit. I'm going to go ahead and go to our apoapsis here. And we'll burn just a little bit more. We only got 334 delta V left. We're going to see if we can insert a little bit of a burn here. And let's go prograde. And we're going to see if we can get our periapsis up to 70k and we did we have achieved an orbit dv the first rocket launched has made it to orbit fantastic and we got just a little bit of delta v left to bring us back home fantastic let's go ahead and get around to the lighter side of kerbin so we can bask in the glory of the kerbin sunrise here Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go ahead and get uh, DV out on his first spacewalk. Go ahead and do that. Boom, you're seeing it. He is in space. And how do I turn on my rocket? There we go. Look at this. Look at him. Oh, my God. Um... There we go. Might want well to get your fingers on the right keys there. Oh boy. Fantastic. Let's see if I can grab that ladder here. Alright. Fantastic. First spacewalk. Also. Great. So we got uh, crew observation. For 19, uh, so that was in the low war, but I guess we didn't get another uh, for the space wall. That's, that's, sorry. That's crappy. That's okay. We'll have to do another space wall. That's alright. Okay, we probably want to splash down in the water, more than likely. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back around to our apoapsis and we'll burn retrograde. That'll bring our periapsis down so that we can 
begin our descent back to Kerbin. So I'm going to go ahead and warp, time warp around to our Apoapsis once again. And we'll do our our burn to uh, begin our descent. All right, we are here at our Apoapsis. I'm going to get into retrograde. We're ready. I'm going to go ahead and burn retrograde. That should get our periapsis down low enough. Yep. Oh, but it's going to be on the dark side of the planet. That's too bad. That's too bad. I didn't time that very well. That's okay. All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. Going back to uh, to the surface. Heroes. Hero? One hero. And that's DV. Alright, we're about to reach the atmosphere of Kerbin here. So we're going to start getting a little bit of heat built up. I do have the thermal damage on. So we can uh, overheat our parts. So hopefully... The engine can absorb the majority of the heat here, and then we'll jettison it and uh, get ready to land ourselves. Where are we going to be at? Okay. I can't see. It's too dark. Can't see, like, what's ground, what's water. <laughs> it's like black, black. It's interesting. Okay. Well... Speed up time. Oh, there we go. We're getting some heat built up. There we are. And we're getting some heat. Look at the heat. Look at her go. Heck yeah. It's interesting that the, each individual joint looks like it's heating up. So, I'm going to see if I can rotate, spin just a little to diffuse a little bit of that heat. Boy, that's hot. That is hot. Ooh, mama. She's a hot one. But we're just about through the the, the hottest part here. Because we're slowing down pretty quick. There we go. Oh, no, we're still speeding up. <laughs> okay. Well, that's less than ideal. As soon as we hit this thicker part of the atmosphere, we should start slowing down. I hope. Oh, DV. Don't die. Don't die on us, buddy. Here we go. We're coming in hot. That's that's no understatement. I mean, that is an understatement. Okay. About to hit the really, really thick part of the atmosphere. We're at 15,000 meters. Okay. Uh-oh, we're going to have to jettison it. It's about to blow. Jettison. There we go. She gone. Fantastic. Okay, we are slowing down now. Really good. At under 250, I'll deploy the parachute. There we go. Shoot deployed. It should pop at around a thousand, I think. Which would be great. Very nice. Very good, DV. There's the moon. Otherwise known as the Mun. I've always said Moon. It's cuz. I guess Mune is probably the most correct. Based on the diphthong that's in the original game. But eh, I don't want to get into all that. Okay. There she blows with a hump like a snow hill. Tis DV. <laughs> okay. Oh, I could have gotten a crew observation manually while in orbit. Oh, I thought it would do it automatically because it did, but that's okay. Well, we'll we'll do it. Uh, we'll be in space again. I don't need to get all of the sp the sp science all at once. All right, we're coming in. A gentle six meters per second. I don't like to use time warp when you're hitting the ground. But you never know. Aha! Active vessel is recoverable. 
Let's come on out. There we go. Can you take your helmet off? Uh, Jetpack status off. I can plant a flag. Okay, so this will be the landing site with DV from first. Rocket launch. And orbit. Think. There you go, baby. Put her out there for all the world to see. Bink. Hey. Hey. Why is that not showing my flag? <laughs> okay. That's okay. That's all right. All right. So let's uh let's go ahead and get back on board. Okay. And we're going to recover this vessel somehow. Ah, recover vessel. Here we go. Yes. Confirm recovery. Heck yeah. All right. Very good. Jeb is proud of you. Fantastic. Um, good. High altitude, 102 uh, kilometers. High speed over land, 12. I don't think that's right. High speed overall, 2290. Okay. Fantastic. 110 Gs. Holy cow. <laughs> that's a lot. Okay. Fantastic. Let's close that. Let's go to the K... SC. All right, let's go to Mission Control. Fantastic. Here we go. Let's submit our findings for our debrief. Welcome back. Thrilling work on the launch pad today. A reporter passed out because of all of the excitement. Then again, it could have been the rocket fumes. They all asked about you, but I just said no comment. I think the joke went over their heads. Anyway, you're off to a great start after our debrief. Submit your mission report and earn some science. And don't forget to swing by the R&D Center to see what new parts are available. The folks in R&D have ideas for some cool advancements and a little bit of science to make those ideas real. When you're done unlocking new technologies, return here for your next mission. All right, we did it. Thanks, science. Ew, we did it. Next, we need to go out of the atmosphere. <laughs> no problem. Okay, but first we're going to go to the research and development. And we can get light launchers here. That gives us a better engine, the Reliant. Okay. Fantastic. And we also get another fuel tank, some radial decouplers, which would be great, and a nose cone. Very cool. So we can put some uh, better staging, some asparagus staging on there, perhaps. Very nice. That will be great. That'll be 10 of my 42 science. Very good. And I could go ahead and unlock something else. We've got 32 science left. We could get. Is there anything with more science experiments? This solar panel, environmental science. Get this science junior. It's huge for the first science. Jeez. Okay. All right. That's, I didn't expect that to be my first science. I expected like thermometers or whatever, but maybe they don't have thermometers in this game. Okay. Well, science junior. It's interesting. What do I want to spend my science on? I'm thinking maybe some solar panels. So get this. Uh, Probes for 10. Research that. Environmental science for 10. And then maybe since aerodynamics and stability for another 10. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so that's going to be about it for this first episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. And stay tuned for more Kerbal Space Program 2. Exploration Mode!